this final test match, a test match that Pakistan dearly need to win in order to square the series. We're at the National Stadium here in Karachi. Good morning to you all. Well, this is out the outside edge and it's running down. So this morning the ball really running down to the boundary. There's no chance for Mubarak. Oh, that's between Sangakara and first slip. That came at a height which was catchable. Samaravira just uh, really didn't get his hands to. Pakistan 11 without loss. Jalan Samaravira, well, he'd be pretty disappointed with this. The ball went at a good height. I think Kumar Sangakara was initially interested in taking the ball. And that uh, may just have put the first slipper out of contention. It's gone. Yes, it's a big appeal and it's upheld, as you would see. So Sri Lanka have uh, struck very early. Nasser Hamid just powering up the delivery. There was some bounce and movement, just enough to take the outside edge. Good breakthrough, early breakthrough for the Sri Lankans. Pakistan win wicket down for 13. So Pakistan's number three batsman, Yunis Khan, 29 matches, didn't play in the first test match. Scored 1,680 runs. But the reason he's there is because uh, Pakistan have lost their first wicket early. Oh, cuts and cuts it so well. It's a great shot. Getting on top of it and hammering it through that offside. Now, this is an excellent start by Yunus Khan. So once again, he cuts it. This strand straighter and uh, still gets to the gap. That will put Chandan after it and may not get to it. So it's four again. Sri Lanka can ill afford this. A couple of loose deliveries from Maru. He wants to get it up. Well, that's in the air, but very, very well played. Excellent shot. And hit front of square, showing how much time he's got. Oh, this time once again in the air, but wide of the man at fine leg. Just wide. That, that's six, in fact. 10 off the over, Pakistan 35 for 1. Good strike, good on drive. And the end of the over, 41 for 1. That was a beautifully played shot. Beautiful stroke. Starting to blossom now this innings from uh, Imran Farad. shot. That's where Yunus Khan has been uh, very, very powerful this morning. Anything short and wide is dealt with very well. Great fielding. Fabulous fielding from Mubarak. That's runs. Four more runs and that brings up the 50 for Pakistan. So those statistics certainly show that the team that bats second, perhaps the second day is the best day to be batting. Oh, goodness me, they can wait. What a fabulous shot that was. 11 off the over. 56 for one. This was a very good shot. Short ball again, but again you will see that the ball hasn't really bounced a great deal. If you're going to be banging it in, you've got to make sure the ball bounces at least to shoulder height. Farhat, though, has been different. He's played some good shots. And that is another example of Imran Farhat's authority this morning. A good boundary to lock off. Ah! It'll be very difficult to give that from that angle. That ball was not spinning back. Okay. Waited for the ball to move into him and worked it with the, the, uh, in the same direction as where the ball was coming to him. Delicately played. This is now a fast outfield. With the grass taken off, that ball carries over to the boundary. Good, useful uh, four for Yunus Khan from Enzamam. It was a sweet sound of the ball hitting the middle of the stick. Oh, take that. Just a little bit short. Quick feet from Imzimam this time, and four runs. Oh, 
That's gone a long way. Far enough anyway to get the maximum number of runs. That's gone. Just a fraction short again. Last ball of the over and it gets punished. It's 182 for two. On the leg side, four runs. It's a question of whether there was bat on it. No, it was only leg. Just all mid on, down to the boundary, in the marble hut, coming down the track, and hitting it just over the outstretch hand for four. A great shot by Yunis Khan, piercing the offside. Left foot across and a lovely follow through. There was a chance there, but it was hit of the middle of the bat. It's a boundary. It takes him to 98, just two away from his 100. 229 for two. He picks up a run, picks up another 50. And Zamamulak will raise his bats to the applause of the crowd that have come here. More importantly, he returns the applause that have come from the dressing room. 37-50 in his 96th test match. It's a no ball, it's a safe shot. He'll pick up two, and what a knock. 100 by Yunus Khan. His first test match for Pakistan in 13 months. And he gives them 100. Third 100 versus Sri Lanka in his eighth test. Second 100 in Pakistan. Tremendous effort batting at number three, not easy. And when you're a test match down, you needed somebody really to stabilize this Pakistan batting lineup. This Pakistan innings and how well is delivered. That shot and pulled away brilliantly. A strong hit through mid wicket. Bilhara Fernando is not having a good time out there. He's gone over 50 in his 8.2 overs. That's put away nicely this time through mid wicket for another couple. Yunus Khan's first 50 took him just 65 balls, the second 50, 99 balls, but he's gone at a good pace, at a good rate. And that's four, no man in third man region. Yeah, yeah he's got, has he caught that? Never cries of catch it, but... Uh, I'm aware of not even claiming it. Or oh, did it carry to him? That really is the question. It was hit firm and hard. Oh, did it drop short of him? Oh, it did carry to him and, and you can And had to take a great catch from Samaravira to dislodge a great innings. 124 for Yunis Khan. It's 284 for three. Interesting. Mubarak has just hit the stumps asking for a run out there. 
He was afraid he didn't seem to know much about the first delivery. It's the first time he's playing test match cricket, so we're not too sure how good a player he is. That's why Mubarak hit the stumps because he thought the toe was on the line and there was absolutely nothing behind the line. But it does seem as if something was planted behind the line. That could be close here. Umpire Billy Bowden doesn't think so. 284 for three. This is close. This is close. He's not coming as long forward as in the manual hat came. was following up that short one with surprised as well. Freddy certainly got the feeling he's been pushed back, he's been set up with the short one and immediately surprised by the one pitched up. And another oh, short one. <laughs> did well, did well to avoid it, but well bowled some in the was. Play forward to that. That's not a pretty picture, I tell you. We are so pretty in a bit of trouble. Oh, Was has got through him with a tremendous delivery. That is excellent cricket by the Sri Lankan fast bowler. He set him up with a bouncer. Forward since he has been at the crease. Look at that. This time that left leg is just marginally forward. Not as far forward as it had been before the bouncers had been bowled at him. That is brilliant bowling. That's why he made that final 11 of the world team. Yusuf Johanna. It will be Yusuf Johanna who will face the first ball of the day from Chaminda Pass. Edge and uh, well that was slashed hard. A risky beginning. Yusuf Johanna is off the mark nevertheless. Uh, the appeal appealed strongly. Because they thought that in the Mamulag, back making a bit of contact. Well, it certainly was a vociferous appeal. It hit the pad definitely first, and then the bat. Where was it heading? It certainly was heading towards the stumps. And the Mamulag is not on strike. Gone, gone, direct hit. Oh, Maruf came in the way. For some unknown reasons, Maruf thinks the mom. That's right, either one. Both of them came, both of them stopped. Now have a look at Maruf. He's coming between the stumps and the thrower. Why not go on the no. other side of the stumps, even if you want to catch the ball? Just give the fielder that opportunity to hit the stumps if he can. 
That's treated, treated through. It'll run away to the boundary. The outfield has quickened since yesterday. Boy pushing back. Good delivery from Chaminda Vaz. Three slips in place. So probably Yusuf Johanna was expecting that uh, natural slant from Chaminda Vaz. Good delivery. Good thinking. All because he has that ability to swing the ball, not just seam it. It swung before it pitched and of course then carried on. Oh, big appeal, no shot offered. But the ball's still got to be... Has it done enough? A little high, just above the roll. And I would think the line wasn't too bad actually, but I would think that Steve Bucknell felt that that might have gone over the top. Good shot. Very good shot indeed. Just over pitching. And Johanna capitalising. Yes, Johanna did well to get with good placement, as you would see. Once again, a reminder, to hit the on-drive, you must keep your hands nice and high. And albeit that uh, that ball was around about the line and middle and off, and he just closed the face a fraction. He's guided that down through third man. I think it was more deliberate than by accident, but he's got four for it. 3.27 for four. So Yusuf Johanna moves on to 21. He was a man on 87, the uh, unlucky number for Australians. Pulled away, up in the air, and miles over the rope. Is that the boundary? Down the wicket, didn't catch it quite the way that he wanted to. I think he in. Down the wicket and over the top. That's gone for six. The 50 partnership. Yusuf Yuhana. Yuhana knew that the ball is not going to spin. So he had the confidence really to go over long on. Dragging the ball away from that off stump and hitting a little across the line because he had the confidence and the cheek to know that uh, that Rangana Harith was not going to spin that ball a great deal. Beats him with a lovely delivery indeed. Dilhara Fernando. Good seam position. And every time that uh, seam has hit the track, there's been some movement for the paces. the off-stump. Silhara Fernando on his knees. On his knees, pleading to the umpire, but that impact once again, just a touch outside the stumps. And is that his 100? In fact, it is. In the Marble Hut, 100 not out. Pakistan, 360 for four. 20th in his 40 tests in Pakistan. Great performance. And down the wicket, in the gap at mid-wicket, and another boundary to Yusuf Yuhana to end the over. 365 for four. Yeah, yeah big shout, but uh, hey, Yunus Khan not interested, but Billy Bowden is. I must confess, I thought I heard it at the time, but uh, Yunus Khan's body language was almost sort of, what are you guys shouting for? And Yusuf, uh, Yusuf Johanna. Oh, yeah. Definitely a sound as that ball went through. Eventually, Billy Bowden had to raise his finger. Nobody walks these days. Well, I can't say nobody. Very few people walk these days, so you have got to give them out. It's 372 for five. Show Malik then coming in, just playing his seventh test match. He's on a bit of a roll at the moment. He was man of the series in the Tri-Nations uh, one-day series before this test match series started. Oh, put down, I think. If it carried, I think it did. There's that uh, wide slip again, Mikey. Had to come back to his left, standing almost in the second the slip position, Mahela Jayawadina. When in the edge that he was walking, in the turned his back to the umpire. Look at him here. 
He's looking to walk in the, and then he realized it's dropped. Yeah, he's looking for that little bit of room. The length allowed it then, and he got enough bat on it for it to go to the... Oh, it's up in the air, and it's very well taken. Yes, that was a great catch. Excellent delivery from Chaminda Vaz in the Mamul Haq. Just a loss of concentration after lunch, just sparring at that delivery outside of stamp and a thick outside edge straight to Jawadana. Fumbled it a bit, Jawadina. He eventually held on. Got between his hands into his legs. Well, they always say keep your legs together. He did it then. Ball stuck between his legs and they have taken a wicket. 387 for 6. So early success for the Sri Lankans uh, after lunch. Abdul Rasak, the new batsman. And he's there because uh, the Sri Lankans struck early through Chamindawas. Drives and that's a fine shot. Hitting it straight into the gap, getting his foot across and uh, making no mistake with it. Slightly over pitched. Spinner certainly has the bowling on the sort of length that the batsman has to use his feet to get down the pitch if he wants to be able to drive comfortably. Bill beats the wicket keeper as well. One thought that it really went through and uh, probably must have been or drives fine shot excellent shot getting his foot right across perfect balance and uh, the placement also very good of the middle of the bat there's a little bit of width because of that angle that Chaminda Vaz gets the ball did not swing good shot very good shot indeed What is important about Cameron Mal, who was seen before the end of the last over, is that he shows that he is capable. You always want your lower order batsmen to get runs. Big appeal, that looks close, and is out. That if he was heading towards another half century, looking so secure, but as we have noticed, so many times he gets into these portals and doesn't carry on. That would have hit leg stump, perhaps two thirds of the way up. Who says umpires don't give LBWs when it's hitting leg stump? 462 for eight. Rana Navid making his test debut, walking out to bat. He's a bowler, remember? But he'll want to get some runs, and this is a lot different walking out onto a test arena than it has, is for Herefordshire. Caught indeed. Another one goes down. Mahela Jawad. As we say, you always need the support of your fielders. Mahela Jawadina doing the job on this occasion. No fumbling, just straight in and held it. Cameron Atmal showed a bit of potential, but he goes for 15. It's 4 6 to 4 for 9. Danish Canaria, the number 11 for Pakistan. Won't be. Um, a huge influence on this game, what he does with the bat, but it might be a little later when he bowls. Turned away, and that'll go down for four. Delicate little leg glide. Who said it's all over? All those who said start the roller, shut off that engine. Down the wicket, swept away. And swept away very well. Went right down the wicket and caught this on the full toss, Navid. And absolutely no protection out there in the mid wicket region. Bowling. That is the end of the innings. Timeliest wicket for those who like their char. Leg stump out of the ground. 
So the match summary, 208 Sri Lanka on day one, bowled out Pakistan. For Sri Lanka, in Sanachai Surya, the man who made that magnificent 253 at Faisalabad, will have to play another big one. So he will take strike to Rana David. A short leg, two slips and a gully. Here is the first ball. And he swung it down to make wicket. Jaya Surya wants to remain positive. 270 runs behind or in front. That's about... Gone down to the boundary again. Short, wide, he loves those, uh, Jaya Surya. And Jaya Surya slashing it again through the covers. Anything loose, anything wide, Sana Jaya Surya will latch onto it. Them. And this is Atapattu flicking it beautifully through square leg. And Rana doesn't stop it. In fact, that's Afridi. And once again, Sana Jaya Surya gets a boundary. Not where he intended it to go. A thickish outside edge. Safely down to third man. Swung it round to backwards square leg. Kane Ria won't get it. He's bisected the two fieldsmen. The sixth boundary of the innings. Jaya Surya's fifth. Once again, he's hit it through extra cover. He is latching on to anything loose. And that is his sixth boundary. And Sri Lanka, 35 for no loss. And this is still the fourth over. He's going to get runs down to fine leg. The question is, is it off the bat? No, it's leg bias. Doesn't matter as long as they come. Sri Lanka go up to 43. And driving through extra cover, Marvan Adapato has made it look that much easy. What a beautiful stroke. And Marvan Adapato is going to get another boundary. Between second slip and gully, and 50 up in six overs. It's interesting to see what the fastest 50 has been in test cricket, but this is pretty quick. Well, there is the sweep. Cries of catch it, but uh, it's gone to the boundary. And there's no one the other side of it. It wouldn't have mattered if there had been, so a maximum at the end of the over. And the score moves on to 67 without loss. Good shot, beautiful shot. Just a short arm jab. It's so strong, Jasuri. Such strong forearms. Yes, just over pitching as you would see, and Sanat Jasuri so quickly onto it. Crack, four more. That's his 50. He really is playing quite beautifully. His 30th 50 in Test cricket. Fantastic. That'll be four more. He's very difficult to bowl to. You know, I feel for the bowler. He's just one of those players that's intimidating. And it makes it very hard. Once again, he runs it down. But uh, also, again, full value. We could see that this outfield certainly uh, running much, much better than uh, what it did on the first day when the Sri Lankans did bat. So Jayasuri picking up another boundary. So it's uh, moved up to 61 in 60 balls. It's going to get runs through that gap. That has been an area Sanat Jayasuriya has profited a lot. And that brings up the 100. That's four. That makes Sanat Jayasuriya the greatest scoring batsman for Sri Lanka. The highest run getter in Test cricket. It's 117 for no loss at the end of the over. Oh, taken. Brilliant catch. Absolutely stunning catch. It is Yasser Hamid who has picked up a beauty. Danish Canaria strikes. So Canaria has provided just what Inza Marble Hak wanted. The breakthrough. Marvan Adamantu out to a great catch. Tremendous anticipation. And 
and uh, Yasir Hamid. Excellent catch. Yes, that uh, ball got a big chunk of the wood. That is why it was such a good catch. One for 25, Sri Lanka lose their opener for 117. Kumar Sangakara is the new batsman in. Sanakcha Surya. What a fantastic performance and the great strike rate of his. Must be right up there amongst the best. Sweeps in again a very, very powerful shot. What a shot again. This time a boundary, but again showing the power, the muscle behind that shot with that bottom hand. Oh, that went just past the man at uh, forward short leg. Just got up too early. Over bold, 28 overs bold, 134 for one. And that's time, says umpire Bokna. So that's the match summary, son. 34 for one overnight. Cuts. Finds the fielder. They'll be looking for Joe. Yes, he gets it, and that's his hundred. Sanjay so took the fielder on and um, just made it on time. He's scampered back. He thinks. Then. So he once again gets the outside edge. And that's running down for four. Punched it away. And if you bowl wide and outside that off stump, all uh, the batsman has to do is to slash at the ball and get full value for that shot. Oh, nicely down the ground. Beautifully played by Sangakkara. The full face of the bat. And that's racing for four again. Four more. So Sri Lanka 155 for one. Oh, good use of the feet and a fine shot by Sangakkara. Sangakkara two uh, taking the Pakistani zone. They really wouldn't want... Uh, can... Oh, great shot again, Sangakkara. This time taking down the full and that brings his thousand runs for the calendar here in Test cricket. What a fine knock. Joining six others. Up in the air, catch it, a call. Will someone get under it? Yes, they will. Big blow to Sri Lanka. A big, big blow. Excellent player, but also the rate at which he scores his runs could have made things quite dangerous. Swept, went straight up in the air. Good catch. Made good ground, Shoaib Malik. And they knew that was going with the man they wanted. Look at the coach. That is the man they want. It's 170 for two. Turned away through the onside, nicely timed, and will run away for four. Oh, inside edge again. This time it gets past the leg stump. Four more. Frustration for the bowler. More runs for Sangakara, this time fine. Should have at least, in fact, the great effort on the boundary. Has he stopped it inside? He hasn't. So it's gone for four. So the Sri Lanka. Oh, it's past the slip fielder and it'll run away for four. Under the over. 211 for two. Down the wicket, over the top. Hasn't caught all of it, I don't think, but he's caught enough to get it to the boundary. Up runs on the board to buy this wicket. Beautiful shot. Best stroke he's played in this inning so far. And reminiscent of a few that he played in the second innings of the first test match. It's a treat though of Mahila Jawadina, that, that left foot doesn't come right out as far forward as you'd like to see some of the times. But when it's that full, it doesn't really matter. Up and over the top, another boundary. To end the over, 10 off it. 226 for two. Full toss, made the most of it. And that takes him to another 50 his 19th oh that's close that is close that's one a lot 
Billy isn't interested. excitement from the last ball for catch it was the shout from keeper and the bowler and that ball will win the race up the result was gingerly after it they're allowed to appeal no question about that after him, it was a little bit was not a little angry. Disappointing, I guess. Who's it away? Who's it away? As well. Who's it away? As well. Very keen on being shot. Very, very keen on picking the shot. Big man is playing. I'm showing how slow this pitch is playing. position to save that single that's running down for four very useful run for Sri Lanka in that last ball in this first session and take it yes. this time that's got behind that is the end of the Sri Lanka's innings etching it through to the wicket keeper finally only two wicket takers for Pakistan but Navid has bowled well he has fought on on the adverse conditions for fast bowlers taking three wickets and has helped his team to dismiss Sri Lanka and there you see the effect that he had on the Sri Lankans Sanajaya Surya another hundred for him brilliant innings 107 from 129 Kumar Sangakkara another century has been in terrific form this year getting to his thousand runs in test match cricket by Zabadu of the half century hasn't done much since then 
He'll get four, no third man in place. Sri Lanka looking to attack. And in the process, forgetting about that fielder. Has put away quite easily by Imran Farad. This time he's got to get runs. Down to third man. Four of them. Out. Caught second slip. Jaminda Vas gets another test wicket. Could this just be the start of something that might send a tremor through the Pakistan dressing room? So Imran Farad goes for nine. But to get runs in run for it. There's a deep point in place. Yasser Amid had to hurry back for that second one. This time he's going to get runs. Down to third man. Four of them. He played late cut. He played the shot earlier in the over and missed it. This time. Finds the middle of the bat. Caught second slip. Jaminda Vas gets another test wicket. Could this just be the start of something that might send a tremor through the Pakistan dressing room? Good delivery in the right area, moving away slightly. Ambitious shot and a good catch. Mahila Jai Warden the man at second slip. So Imran Farad goes for 19, and Pakistan are 31 for one. All behind, that's gone. So Rangan Herat just holding that delivery back, just a little bit of flight, enticing him into a drive. He checked that drive, Atapata was in the way, put himself forward and picked that up. So it's a good wicket for Sri Lanka. They need to keep on taking wicket Sri Lanka. Put a bit of pressure and that was a good catch had to come forward Marvin Atapatu but managed to get both hands under the ball for the three for two things could get interesting both openers now back in the hutch oh that's a good delivery that must be out that came back sharply he didn't read the line and that was it plumb in front I gave that out from here, Ranjit. It was the arm ball, the one that didn't spin away but came straight back in with the arm. Have a look at this. Oh yes, that's plumb. Hit on the back foot, that right leg in front of leg stump. Absolutely no doubt about that. And Ghana Herat strikes again. 47 for 3. Oh, what a delivery that was. That must have been very, very close. The narrowest of margins. That's running down for four. The Pakistanis will take it. It brings up the 50 for Pakistan. The way things are going now for Pakistan, they'll be happy whichever way these runs come. Very unconvincing this again. Again, the ball hasn't spun. Again, it has carried on with the arm, taking the inside edge. This time whips it away on the onside, looking for the second, and they'll get it. Oh, in there, that might be out. Oh, yes, it is. A great catch by Bamanata Patu. What a catch! And this really is leading from the front. This puts Sri Lanka in a very strong position here. And see the jubilation. Definitely always on the cards here for Yunus Khan. He has been quite happy to put back the ball. He hasn't played too many defensive strokes. Everything he has had a follow through with his shot. And there he goes again. That field was specifically placed by Marvan Atapatu. But have a look at that catch. His left hand alone had no chance of getting both hands to the catch. Celebration time. Celebration time. The pressure is on. Pakistan not responding too well to this pressure. They've lost another one. It's 57 for four. Mm. 
beautifully driven but the path to not been able to stop it cleanly Mubarak does but Shoaib Malik has looked so good such a beautiful stroke there's hardly any power in that shot it was just a beautiful push and it just sped away that was too short and uh, Malik has dealt with it in style through mid wicket for four that was an excellent stroke it looks simple but it's not as simple as Shoy Malik made it look that foot punching it straight down the wicket just wide of mid on it's easy to get onto the front foot and drive balls with power off the back foot especially against the spinner that's a very good shot he knew he didn't have to run he middled it just a little skip down the wicket he's fired in at his leg stump and he's pinged that wider mid on long on there's a man back there he needn't have bothered either what a good shot under pressure came down the track and he had to miss that fielder which i just mentioned was halfway through there at festival Another appeal. Umpire Steve Buckner has gone to his partner now. Another dramatic catch taken, is it? Well, this is another one of those off the toe numbers, I think. We've had, it's extraordinary how often the ball has gone onto the bat and onto the toe. Now, has this ball hit the ground at any stage is what's got to be decided. First, there'll be a conversation. Is, is it referable? Oh, that's been answered pretty quickly. So, I said, Ralph called in to make yet another critical decision there was a lot of confidence there it is no straight into the ground and straight up into the hands you only need one look at that and uh, we can resume cricket that is uh, not clever silly point being uh, quite silly down the wicket and over the top has it gone all the way? Yes, it has. That's the statement being made there. 50 partnership. And we're on our way, he's saying. That is when Abdul Razak is at his very best. Down the track, full of confidence. And he was meaningfully down the track. Early on, it was a casual effort. That's running down for four, the outside edge. There's no cover, so the runs now keep on coming. The Pakistani batsmen batting with a great deal more freedom to the jubilation of their fans. End of the over. 117 for four. Not allowing to bowl after T and then brought back a bit later on. Once again, using his feet, he certainly is now just looking to finish this off quickly. And again, uh, reaching the boundary they are very confident now they know they haven't got a lot more to get they can afford to take chances at this stage big gap through the mid wicket region another sweep and that again reaches the boundary there's no one in that region and that was powerfully struck so they're making Quick work of uh, Rangana Herat. As you can see, the change in mindset. There's not much pressure now, and uh, the runs keep on coming. Almost uh, took Kampa Steve Buckner, but uh, ah, to the pardon, Bowden. Once again, down the field, taking down the pool, and that's a big, big six. Oh, that's a superb shot, as you would see the confidence just uh, coming on. And just look at the Pakistan fans, they're just delighted. That's a huge shot. Well, Shoaib Malik just getting rid of all the frustrations of having to bat for so long under so much pressure. Now that the pressure has eased, he has said, well, I'm going to free my arms. I'm now going to enjoy myself. It has been hard work. Oh, once again, a great shot. This time through mid-wicket for four. Taking on the half volley. Superb timing. 
again showing the confidence this man has got as you can see the smile surfacing in the first of Pakistan dressing room and the crowd absolutely delighted so just two to win now and importantly he moves on the 49 now what is the plan for Sri Lanka Atapatu and Herat having another chat they're going to be changing the line that they'll be bowling at Shoaib Malik deciding now to come over the wicket they are happier now aren't they much happier dressing room they certainly are looking at the smiles there and uh, the relaxed mood that prevails there when one compares it with uh, the earlier situation when wickets were tumbling. So Malikan 49 and apart from winning that again would be uh, of interest him reaching his 50. So down the wicket again and this time gets the gap once again and that brings Pakistan's victory. A fine innings, Malik's 50 and uh, what a fine win this has been. 22 of that over. So Pakistan win by six wickets and uh, the draw level in the series. So this has been a fine comeback by Pakistan. Having lost the first test match, they regrouped and um, saw to it that uh, Sri Lanka were defeated. This series should have done both teams a world of good run. Of course, Sri Lanka are playing without more leader run. They are leading bowler. And Pakistan played this test match without Shoaib Akhtar or Mohamed Sami. They still won. So both teams should be happy with that. the bowling figures um, Sri Lanka sort of uh, look as if they had a ease with